and welcome into Bon Appetit, <laughs> brought to you by Alga Whitfield, who is the sponsor of the Creative Living section at the Alabama National Fair. The fair this year is October 9th through October the 18th. It'll be a lot of fun. It'll be kind of contained a little bit more because of our good friend, Mr. COVID, but it's still going to happen, and it'll be a great time to get out and just get out. <laughs> and today we have with us a young lady who has won I couldn't believe all the things you won in the fair. Baker of the Year, Alaga Baker of the Year, Cook of the Year. This is Felicia Moore, and you have one of your winning recipes with us today. And we're going to let Virginia show us how to make it along with you. Thank you. And thank you for being with us. I'm looking at this pie and just loving it. And from Alaga Whitfield, thank you so much for all the efforts of finding wonderful ways to use the product. We appreciate you. So give us a rundown. We can't actually cook out here, but tell us all the steps that we'll go through to make this awesome pie. Okay, this is a coconut caramel pie. Uh, and I love coconut. Oh, <laughs> I love caramel. You got me. <laughs> so we're good. <laughs> so first we're going to take three quarters of a stick of butter and we're going to melt it. And then we're going to add the pecans and I love to use Tucker pecans and we're going to add seven ounces of coconut flakes. I'm going to constantly stir that because it can burn easily. Uh, we are also going to, as we're stirring it, watch the color of the coconut change from a bright white to a tan color. It's got okay. a toast in it. Yeah. Right. We're, yeah. we're toasting the pecans mm -hmm. and we're toasting the coconut. And so just don't walk away from your oven because it <laughs> has it, it has it. burnt on me. <laughs> yes. And uh, this particular pan is a glass pan and so it retains the heat a little bit more. Okay. So I always remove this and put it in another bowl so that it doesn't continue to to heat after I take it off of the stove. That's a great tip. Right. And so we're going to let that cool. And then we're going to take our room temperature cream cheese, or, mm. if, or if you forget to yep. take it out, you can put it in the microwave for okay. about 30 seconds to a minute. Just soften it up. Right. Yes. Okay. Right. And we're going to add to that, after we cream this some, we're going to add the Eagle brand milk. Oh. So you're going to mix those two in together. That's yeah. right. Yeah. That's right. And we're going to make sure that mm. we don't have any lumps or bumps and it's, okay. it's smooth. I'm also going to add some a tablespoon of alaga syrup because mm -hmm. it just gives it a pretty shine. It does. It does. And so Do we you use the the red label, the we original, use this. Or you we use yeah, the yellow I use the label. yellow label. Okay. Yeah. A little for bit that. of a little bit mm -hmm. of a honey base. And so it just makes it a little shiny. It okay. gives it a nicer appearance. Then we're going to add the whipped topping and combine these three together. We're going to get have, we're going to have two pie crust and we're going to put a fourth of this mixture into each, each pie crust, and then we're going to add a fourth of this mixture, and we're just going to build the layers up. Oh, okay. And now, you need is to that a graham cracker crust? Yeah, that's okay. what I was going to say. This is a graham cracker crust. It's the crust. graham cracker, mm -hmm. and remember now, there are different sizes, so you want to get the, the six ounce size. There, you don't want right. one that's and it, too and big it's for a nine inch pie crust. Okay. Right. Be okay. sure you get the right one. And um, there is even um, a larger size that has yep. an extra serving, and right. so you mm. could use that also. <laughs> <An> extra serving. <laughs> That's for me. <laughs> and so then we're going to layer our, um, our whipped cream mixture with the cream cheese, and then we're going to alternate it with this mixture. Oh, of great. The, the You're coconut. layering. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're layering four layers, and so we'll end. Wow. So that's a four-layer pie. Right. Isn't that neat? Ooh. And so we're going to layer it, and our last layer is going to be the coconut and the pecans. And then we're going to take our caramel syrup, mm -hmm. and we're going to just drizzle it over the top. Ooh. And I and I like to do that after I freeze it, because we're going to freeze okay. these pies. Okay. So you're going to okay. freeze these. Right, right. Okay. right. And so um, I like to freeze them and then put this on. And so... It just, you know, it looks like we've just made it. It and, just and gives it that just, fancy then you, look. All the sprinkle is yeah. the coconut on yeah. the top, 
Now, do you eat it frozen then? You do. You eat can it eat it frozen or you, you can, can let it defrost whoa. a little bit. Right. Are we you... are outside, folks, so you may get a little wind. <laughs> Thank God for the, the wind. Breeze. Thank God for the pretty weather. <laughs> Or you, or you can, you can eat it from the freezer or you can wait and let it come to room temperature. You know what I love, life. Felicia, is you used local products. Yes. Thank right. you so much because we're so big on using local products, mm -hmm. Alabama right. products. Right. And Absolutely. the only cooking you really have to do is right here. That's with your, right. your butter, right. your pecans, and your coconut. That's right. This is really easy and it's absolutely delicious. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you. you so much for coming yes. and doing this. Thank you this. for having me. We appreciate yep. it. We need more cooks like you. Absolutely. Well, <laughs> and I really appreciate everything that the fair supports and their so do we. and right. doing good work. Absolutely. Families who cook together stay together. Absolutely. Be sure you come out to the fair. You're going to be safe and it's a wonderful experience. And thanks for being with us. And we'll be right back.